especially on a stock chain. just fell right out of there. It's not even the one he's rigging. So if you think you can run in there. I worked with a guy. He said, if my saw's not running, it's okay to come into the tree. That would have took it, that would have changed your day drastically. Seriously, friends, that, look at the size of that. Friends, I'm just gonna go around here as a groundman here. Just, just watch what I do here. Watch my head. He, he's doing stuff up there. Look, look at my head. Look what I do. Look up. Wait. Oh, he's pulling his rope. Perfect. I'll grab a few things. Watch this. Look at. Boom. I look up again. Look down. Do a couple things. Watch what happens. Put that there. Boom. Back up. I already know what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm voice-overing voice -overing as I look. I'm cleaning the ground so we're not tripping on stuff, flicking that out of there. I'm out of the drop zone. Now, look up again. Something's coming down. Quickly scoop, boom. Probably look up one more time. Yep, there I go. He's good. He's, rig he's got another one rigged up and he's ready to go. Ian and Hogan have a system. I just showed up because I'm eager to work and I'm just excited to be, that I can even do it. So. Watch what happens here now. I anticipate the fact that Hogan's gonna grab the limb. And I go over to big limb. I grab that, we flop it down onto the deck. It's just straight up old school tree work. The chipper can get close to the tree, we're going, we're going. The important thing is here, friends, is sometimes you can be in the way. They don't need me here. I'm just eager to work. So I have to find my spot. You don't want to be in their way. Hogan can handle his work by, they have a system. When there's two men, the guy rigs his own limbs. Hogan doesn't, you'll you watch, Hogan. Ian Lee rigs his own limbs. That's how I do it too, unless we're slamming. But I'm just in and out like a fiddler's elbow, looking up like mad, like straight up looking up steady, not just back to him up. See, like I'm, I, I, I there's not much, Time goes by where I don't look up to see what he's doing. So I'm just gonna piddle around here for a little bit and you can kind of watch as I go along. Ian's not hanging off of his saddle. He's climbed the tree and limbed as he goes. It's old school tree work, it's what we do and we've always done. Notice he's not tied in. Like hanging on his saddle is what I mean. Of course he's tied in, but he just cuts the tree down. He goes up, you know what I mean? Like like I've always done, unless I'm rigging a big maple out where I go up and pick my crotch, tie in and work the tree. These are single spar trees. You just cut them as you go. But I know that some climbers climb up to the top of the tree, tie in, hang, a, I don't know, and then come back down. And that's great too. It's much easier on the body that way. But uh, this is old school tree work. Just saying it again. It's not, not telling you to do this explain them what we do.
friends, remember, they don't need me here. This is a two-man job. They do this all the time. This is me coming off of my shoulder injury. It's been a month and a half. I think I think this is a day or two maybe after Vartans. I, I think. I, it might even be before Vartans, friends. I'm seriously not, I'm not sure. I can figure it out. But it's right in that time where I got back on my feet. So they, they don't need me here. So I have to be very careful that I'm not causing a problem. You understand? Hogan can easily grab that limb like he does here. But now he has to go and then he, you know, he has to chase up the limb so it flops down on the... So I just, I'm finding my spot. Because you can get, you can be a problem. See, Hogan, he's really not doing much right now until I'm out of the way and then he feeds the limb. Then I go. I can clean up under the tree now a little bit, keep things moving. Or, you know what I mean? come over get the camera up onto Ian which is basically what I'm doing so I'm just trying to capture a bit of the tree work I screwed up there I was supposed to undo the carabiner out of the rope I left the noose in it he <laughs> Hogan's give me a little gaff there yeah you can see what's going on here friends I just showed up uh, you know just doing what I can We got structures, it's just keeping things nice and tight. We got a stem over here that I can test a couple things on here. I think I'll ask Ian if it's okay if I knock that down. It's got a little belly in it. You gotta watch stuff jumping around. The limbs are getting smaller. They don't need me over there anymore. But, uh... Friends, I, I can't I can't explain to you the joy of, of being able to move around and the camaraderie of, of tree work. This has been my life. And um, to, to, to see my boy and work with my boy uh, with such a veteran and, and, and extremely qualified tree man in Ian Shaw, it's just warmed my heart. I don't really know their system, so here I come in again. Hogan's got the, what can I do really? There's not really much I can do. What What do I, oh, hey, his rope needs pulled up. But does he want that rope pulled up? He's not used to it because he does it himself. So I make communication with him. He knows what's going on. He sees me there, he takes a look. I'm pulling his rope up for him. So I'm saving the man energy. Boom, I'm out. Look up again. Do you know what I mean by you can get in people's way? Just be be as efficient as you can. Sometimes that, believe it or not, is standing back and watching. So, so just know that because I'm eager to get in there. Uh, that's my nature. And I'm trying to capture what's happening. I'm back and forth from the camera, so I'm kind of scurrying around. So, you know, I don't want to throw these guys off. It's, it, you, you can be, a, you, you know, as much as you want to help, you might be hurting. So just, just be cognizant of what's going on. Not just, you know, what your part is. Think about everybody. Pick up the energy. See how he works with the inertia? Let it come in, swing it out. One swing, boom, butts for the groundman, you see? All butts for the groundman. This is a seasoned vet we're dealing with here. Not some guy hacking and chopping and thinking he's cool because he's fast. It's not about fast, it's about a system. Respect, these guys do all the work. That's no disrespect to no climber, but any climber will tell you that he loves his fellas on the ground and he treats them good. And I'll tell you another thing that I used to see through the years that it used to bother me quite a bit is this these these words for the, the the people on the ground like i know it's the thing in the industry groundy 
or, or you know, something. They're ground workers. That's what they are, and they make it happen. They make you look good in the tree. So don't forget that, Mr. New Climber guy. You know, they they are ground workers, ground men, ground women, not some other, you know, disrespectful name. It's, they're, they're there to support you and make you look like the stallion that you think you are. So get it straight. Your ground people are the stallions of the job. I need you folks to let me know if this voiceover stuff is helping people. And this is where the limbs are smaller now. So things are flying. It's not coming down on a rope. So Hogan, he usually, and he's smart. Most ground men are smart. I'm, I'm not that smart, but I go in and out like a fiddler's elbow. But if you're going to do that, your head has to be up. It, it just has to be up at all times. I'm, it's just my, de my design. I, I'm just like that. I, I don't like standing. Even though that is the best thing to do sometimes, is just stand and wait. But things have changed here now because the limbs are smaller. He can cut them, manhandle them, throw them. So there's stuff flying. So to go in with your head down is a horrible move at this point. Hogan and him have a system. And this is why they're still rolling. Hogan stands back. They communicate. Chop, chop, chop. If I wasn't there, Hogan would, would, be, would be doing the exact same thing. They just, they work together. I'm just the dude that showed up who's all excited to work. That's all. Okay, so here's the scenario. Ian just lowered those limbs, so he cannot do anything right now, Ian. There's nothing he can do. He's waiting for the rope. I've been there a thousand times. He's waiting for that rope. Watch how fast that rope leaves once it's off the limbs. He's literally waiting there. So there it goes, boom, gone. I don't even have time to freaking help him get it up there because that's that's what you're there to do. The, 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 the climber, especially standing on his picks, you want him in and out of that tree as quick as possible, especially when he's smashed up, <laughs> which Ian is not. Ian's looked after himself, but me, I want that freaking rope back now, hooking limbs up. I will, you know what I do sometimes? Friends, this is the straight goods. This is what I do. I'll actually run the rope all the way through. So that will come down and I'll just flick the whole rope all the way around and I'll already have the other end. This is no joke, friends. I'll have the other end hooked up on a limb, ready to go. So see the, the, the rope on the left? I will, it'll come up to me. And, and their end, I'll already be hooked up, and I'm telling you, that's just my brain. That is my brain. The less that man has to do up there, the better. Okay, friends, uh, notice what Ian's doing here. He's creating, we do this when we get into smaller wood so we can get off our picks. I think he even kicks out here a little bit and that's the reason for what he's doing. Watch here. Right there, see that? He stumbled, that's the reason because the wood's so small to get the picks in there, you know, things change a bit. So he's just making himself a little scaffolding there those little stubs they're there for a reason he leaves them to stand on it's like taking a break in the tree trust me on that one Oh dear. Oh dear. 
so here I'm thinking, look, like, what can I do? I don't like, okay, well, I'm going to go in here now. Could I get in Hogan's way here? Yeah, the limbs are small enough. I can, this is called forwarding. Forward the limbs. Boom, just get this set up for Hogan. Have a peek up. What's he doing up there? Is he going to hit me with something? No. Turn around, forward this stuff to Hogan. Keep an eye, oh, let's grab that rope. Kick that out of the way. I just forward the brush to Hogan. Where's my spot here? How can I be a help and not in the way? He's just skinning it out. That's what you do when you're cramped in. You got septic right here. It's all septic. He's just gonna bust it out of there. Small pieces, small problems. There he goes, straight down. Young tree men and women or anyone starting on a job, please listen to these words very carefully. You are working for someone, but, but make no mistake, you are working for yourself at all times. You are working for your name. How can you assist your fellow worker? How can you make their day go easier? It's not by standing and watching somebody struggle with brush. I'll tell you that right now. Find your spot because they are going to talk about you at the end of the day. They're going to say, how did he do? How did she do? Trust me, it's how it goes in any game. So do your best. You're being watched. But guess who's watching you the most? You. You you got to look in that mirror when you get home. Did I work today or did I stand and watch? Could I have done more? This is where your peace comes from. Young men, especially I'm talking to stubs, everyone, but young men, this wood, is where you'll find the stuff. most peace in your life. You it's working up. hard. And notice he's got them on the low side of the stem so he don't kick out as much. Ian has an interesting way. He just goes in the back and he flops. I'll show you how he does this. I'll get back. He does that all the time. He's been doing it for years. He gets pretty good at it. at all okay Ian's gonna cut this thing out we got a line in it we got it over to Sylvia on a nice kind of a side pull almost like a tag but not really so I'll just put you guys here and I'll let you watch watch that go in there
So she's all cut up. A little more wood on the high side, as you can see there. Ian's about an inch on the low side. And he's got his pickup on it. See that, friends? There's more wood there than there is on the low side. He's got a hard lean on that, friends. You can hear the pickup behind me. Here it comes. Right on course. Shook clank. Boom. Just like it's supposed to be. So, again, he's about 40% on the undercut. Just over a third. Well, it's pretty thick bark, so he's that's right on the money is what that is. See the stump? Less on the low side, more on the high side. It's a perfect looking stump. We're gonna grade you on that, Ian. We're gonna give you we're gonna give you 14 today, Ian, on that. Nice job, young fella. Keep your stumps nice and low. Well done, good fella. Where's my crayon? I know you're saying something I can <laughs> Well, no, just explaining to folks because I get these questions daily. It's a perfect stump because you got less wood on the low side, which is what we wanted. A little more on the high side to keep it high. Well, it was I wanted hard. to pull it here. Well, of course you did. And that's what I get these questions daily. And, and now, I, you know, there's somebody here that has cut a couple of these. I've only made about five million of them. Five million? <laughs> I don't know. You. I got a ways to go yet. I know you do. Oh, yeah. So we got to get out and film you one day when the, when the, uh, when the setting's right where we won't get in trouble for that. I got my green card. I, well, I got a job coming up where I got about six loads to fall, just telling Hogan down. Yeah. So you can come out there. And f film you yeah, down you, there. Yeah, you can fall all you want. I can cut something? You can cut all you want. What do you think, friends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this is going to be good. So, again, friends, I get these questions all the time. This was a scenario you can see by the growth of this tree that it was literally cranked right out here over the man's septic. So uh, I like these little opportunities to work with other folks. And Ian's been doing this. Ian, how many years you got falling in now? Well, if you added it up from when I started, probably 45, 46. Yeah, you're, you're a good 45 on the stump now. Yeah. I mean, that's a long time, friends. You know. I started 1977 I broke in in the old 77 I was oh heavens I was eight 77 I started falling and then I, in the second growth then I broke in in the old growth yeah 79 yeah see now he's really starting to open up and tell the stories you see what happens to him you get him going I self-taught myself for two years well you saw by coming to fall with me that I did a little of that self-taught myself too <laughs> I'm telling these guys oh my goodness remember Port Alberni He come, he come walking over this hog's back. <laughs> I didn't even know him really that well, but I had this right away job and I hired him in the claw. And, oh, it was funny. God, it was funny. Did you hear what happened here? No. Logging truck flipped over uh, last week there and broke that water main in half. Where? Port Alberni, they got no water. Ray was just telling me. Loaded logging truck. Yeah. So Ian just says a, a logging truck in Port Alberni. Yeah. Just upended and, and broke rolled a water over main. and hit the water main that feeds all the port over i know the line yeah well we for falling we fell or? for it yeah. yeah well that water main got busted that's great that was pretty snar snarly ground wasn't it in there yeah, remember oh, that yeah. right away yeah. yeah well we imagine the water pressure coming out of china creek well i think it was a four foot freaking pipe if i'm not mistaken wasn't four it? or five it's a big pipe it was huge yeah. i remember it imagine the pressure we we fell i i it was a kilometer right away is what it was or, or more i forget but uh oh it was funny <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was quite a ways. Anyway, enough BS, but uh, Ian and I have done some work together. And, and speaking about being self-taught, he come around the corner and I'm doing something haywire. Like, I mean haywire. I look behind me, there's the Shaw. He says, I was trying to get those, uh, you know, you can see him smashing up there over the, over the hump. I said, well, you're freaking Ian Shaw. You should be able to follow us around corners. He, he looked at me. <laughs> oh yeah, now that was some fun. Hey friends, yeah. Listen, just to shut down the video, uh, I just uh, I just want to thank Ian again. Ian, thanks again for working, my boy, if you're watching the video. Friends, give Ian a hoot. He's a blast. He's been going a long, long time. He's been lucky. He hasn't been driven into the ground like myself. He's safe, does clean work. Ian's, good. Ian's been around a long time, friends, and he's a good friend of the family uh, and a character. We'll probably get him a little more on the channel now and again, and I'll bring you some some stories of the, of the stump. Um, what else? Friends, 
Ripsaw just gave me a text about 20 minutes ago and said, Buck, and we got the organ files in. So I just, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to relay the message that they get because they're, they're ramping up their store, friends. Ripsaw's ramping up the store. I got my mold back from Bradley. Thanks, Brad. Um, yeah, so I'll leave the description or the link in the description like i done before. They got the organ files. I'm an organ guy. I've tried still just because that's what they handed me across the counter at Walker's now and again. I find they wear out a little quick. Just being honest, I do like the organ files a little better. Um, so, so the boys at Ripsaw, they're ramping up their store, friends. Their, their, their selection is growing day by day. And they said they're busy and they appreciate the snot out of the buck and army and, and all of that. So we're, we've got a couple little blurbs of their shop. I'm going to bring you some little, quick little, like I do, little interjections of their working shop and the boys, what they're doing there and their setup. Uh, so I, I really enjoy working with these fellas. Um, BuckingBillyRay.com for all your goodies. Oh, as a matter of freaking fact. So in the mail, yesterday I go down and walk down to the mail. And Christine says there's something in the mail for you. Of course there is. Be honest. Work hard. Be kind. On the right sleeve. Work hard. Be honest. Kerflop. Look at these things. You guys got them before I did, but I, I, as soon as I got it in the mailbox, I ripped off my black and red plaid and I threw that sucker on and I really like it. Anyways, buckandbillyray.com for all your goodies. Friends, thanks so much. We, it means a lot to us that you use the store. It helps us a lot. Christine, we love you. Work hard, friends. Be honest and be kind. We'll catch you on the next video. <laughs> he looked at me like he didn't even know what to think. And here I got a tree all screwed up. And that was a long time ago. Just pick this up up. Oh, you're a good man. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. No problem. Anyways, enough story time. We're going to get out and get on the stump with Ian and have some fun.